Trump breaking news. Supreme Court's decision could upend Trump's trial in a federal election subversion criminal case. The U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to consider ex-President Trump's request for immunity, which may postpone his scheduled trial just as the 2024 presidential election campaign gets underway. As stated in a brief ruling released on Wednesday evening, the court will rule whether ex-presidents have presidential immunity from criminal prosecution for conduct alleged to constitute official acts during oral arguments scheduled for the week of April 22. Trump who is now leading the Republican race for the 2017 election, is facing 91 felony counts in four different criminal proceedings. He maintains his innocence and says he is the target of a politically driven witch hunt. He has pled not guilty to all counts. The lawyers for the ex-president have taken his federal election subversion charges, which originated with special counsel Jack Smith's investigations, to the appeals court arguing that the president's immunity should render them null and void. A second appeal reached the Supreme Court after an appeals court rejected the allegation, U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin had initially intended to begin the trial on March 22, but the Supreme Court's decision to resolve the matter may further postpone the start of any potential trial, unless the ex-trial president's is finished before Trump's November election, the charges against him will almost definitely be dropped. With the addition of three justices nominated by Trump, the current conservative majority on the Supreme Court stands at 6-3 on Wednesday, the Supreme Court issued an unsigned ruling stating that it would address the following matter, whether and to what extent does a former president enjoy presidential immunity from criminal prosecution for conduct claimed to entail official activities during his stay in office? Shortly before oral arguments began in the week of April 22, Trump's team had until March 19 to file briefs addressing the merits of their claim and any amicus curiae briefs that supported it, while Smith had until April 8 to file the same. A final response from Trump's team is due on April 15, one week prior to the trial. There will be no trial dates or other proceedings related to the lawsuit until the court rules on the matter. In an effort to get a reaction on Wednesday night, Newsweek emailed Trump's and Smith's offices. The president's ability to carry out his duties and make judgments that are in the nation's best interest depends on presidential immunity, according to Trump's letter. After leaving office, presidents will always be worried, and sometimes paralyzed, about the possibility of unjust prosecution and reprisal. According to scholars and legal experts, the president should have full immunity, he continued. A president needs the independence to make the right calls, at the same time, a number of academics, legal professionals, and Trump detractors held vastly different opinions on the matter. No rationale could have ever led the Supreme Court to hear this case. The conservative former federal appeals court judge Michael Ludwig made the statement while appearing on MSBC. That a former president is immune from prosecution for crimes committed while in office has never been an argument under the Constitution and statutes of the United States. The Supreme Court can have this decided in a flash, so the ex-president might face trial before the election, he continued. However, that became significantly less probable due to today's ruling. Glenn Kirshner, a former federal prosecutor, posted to X, previously Twitter, accusing the Supreme Court of providing Trump a major benefit with the decision. Furthermore, Kirshner stated that it was obvious the court sold American democracy down the river by siding with the former president, constitutional law scholar Anthony Michael Kreis of Georgia State University's College of Law wrote on X that he does not envision the Supreme Court overturning the D.C. Circuit's immunity decision. Having said that, I was shocked that there were four votes to take this matter seriously. However, I can also understand how the court could be trying to appease Trump while simultaneously cutting his power. The Supreme Court of the United States just reminded us with this corrupt ruling that the insurrection did not fail, it never ended, wrote Mary Trump, the estranged niece of the former president. Moving forward the final ruling regarding Trump's immunity claim will not be known for some time after the April oral arguments. There is a possibility that the Supreme Court may postpone making a decision until their current session ends on June 20. A dismissal of the case is imminent upon the acceptance of Trump's immunity claim. Chutkin will probably quickly set a fresh trial date if the court finds against the ex-president, 
the rescheduled trial may not start before the November 5 election, but Trump may still have to make an appearance in court for his other civil and criminal charges before his political destiny is determined.